Proportional versus non-proportional. Slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Think about this for a moment. Jennifer charges $15 an hour to babysit at her home. If Jennifer babysits for zero hours, how much will she get paid? Hopefully, you said zero. She'll get paid nothing if she works for no hours. Let's put that in a table. For zero hours, she gets zero dollars. For one hour, she makes fifteen dollars. For two, she makes thirty. For three hours, her fee would be forty-five dollars. And for four hours, her fee would be sixty. Now that we've completed the table, we can go ahead and put that on the graph. Let's label the x-axis hours and the y-axis will be the cost or her fee. Remember, if she works zero hours, she's getting paid zero dollars. For one hour, it's 15. For two hours, it's 30. For three hours, it's 45. Now, we could keep plotting points, but because the situation is linear, we actually can just go ahead and create a straight line. We will start at zero, zero, going through each one of our points and extending out our line. When it's extended, you'll actually see that it will cross through four hours and sixty dollars. Right there. That's a linear relationship. Now, what if Jennifer charges ten dollar fee to come to your house to babysit and then fifteen dollars an hour? So Jennifer drives to your house to babysit. How much do you owe her before she even starts to babysit? Hopefully you said $10. Remember, she charges $10. She needs her gas money, right? Well, let's put that in a table. For zero hours, Jennifer is going to charge $10. Now, after the $10, each hour she will charge 15 additional dollars. So at hour one, her fee is $25. 10 plus 15. At hour two, it's $40. 10 plus 15 plus 15. You can see how this is going to continue to increase by $15 an hour after the $10. We can again graph the situation. Remember the x-axis is the number of hours she works, and the y-axis will be the cost or the fee she will charge. This time we will not start at zero, zero. Because at zero, Jennifer is charging $10. Next, we're going to go to one hour, so we need to increase from $10, 15 more dollars, which means we'll end up at 25. We're going to increase 15 more dollars again, which means we're going to end up at 40. Now, we could keep going, but this is also a linear situation, so we can go ahead and just create our line. It just needs to pass through the points that we have plotted. If you look closely, you know we will pass through the 355 and the 470. So what is slope intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Well, let's take a look. First, we're going to start with our proportional situation. Jennifer charging $15 an hour to babysit at her home. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept. If you look at m, we're looking for the rate. What is Jennifer charging? She's charging a rate of $15 per hour. However, the b or the y intercept, remember, at zero hours, she charges zero dollars. So the starting point is zero. So it really looks like 15x plus zero, which can be rewritten as y equals 15x. That situation is proportional. Now, a non-proportional situation, we're still going to use y equals mx plus b, slope intercept form. We're also going to find the rate, which in this case is still $15 an hour. That is m, or your slope, the difference here is B, the y-intercept, the starting point. Remember, Jennifer charges that $10 fee just to start. So this 
is y equals 15x plus 10, making it non-proportional. Another way to look at it, here is proportional. Proportional starts at 0, 0. You will see it's 0 times anything is 0, down here, 0, 0. But over here in our non-proportional situation, we had a y equals mx plus b. We actually had 0 and a starting point of 10, which means the graph did not start at 0, 0. It starts at 0, 10. Remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where proportional situations are 0, 0, and non-proportional have a y-intercept. Thank you. Don't forget to follow.